Now good afternoon, or actually morning, still morning. Just another quick video here. Um, you might have seen that uh, I've brought the cattle home anyhow, so they're, they're a lot closer to the house now. Now I've brought them to the lowest part of the farm here. Uh, this wet area here. They haven't been here now since uh, the 22nd or the 23rd of November last year. I skipped this on the second rotation. I skipped all the land at home on the second rotation uh, purposely so I'd have something for them to have uh, for calving. So I think I have beat the weather by the skin of my teeth. The weather forecast now is this dry weather, dry mild weather now for the next foreseeable few days over St. Patrick's Day, over the weekend, so I'm very happy about that. Um, but I think what I have learned from this winter, outwintering, is that that bull is not going to be let out. When I take him away, he's not going to be let back with them until the 4th of July. I don't want them calving uh, this early. April will suit me better, I think. Uh, it's just it's a worry about weather. You don't know what way it's going to be, but I think in April you have a better chance of having fine weather. But it looks like we'll have fine weather for now, so I'm very pleased with that. Um, so they're in this little place here. Now this is wet, kind of boggy, moory spot, but it's wet and it's but it's hard. The ground is hard. I don't mind them tramping it up because I tell you. I kind of purposely put them here. There's no point in me putting them onto a dry field with grass on it just yet because they'll, they'll mess it up on me. So this is all mossy ground, as you, as you can see. Mossy ground. So if they beat that up and dung on it and urinate on it, and I'll feed them that silage on it. That should uh, improve things. And I will skip this now when I do hit the real spring flush. I'll skip it on my first spring rotation and I'll, uh, I'll graze it during the summer. So it's going to have plenty of rest now after this hammering. And I'm going to give it a hammering because I need to drag it out that bit more. Because I'm probably two weeks ahead of myself uh, in my transition from winter feed to spring flush. So that's the story now. Anyhow, uh, it's a great day, there's lovely weather. I'm looking forward to St. Patrick's Day tomorrow. I'm gonna to have a few pints and uh, keep an eye on these heifers and cows to see if they're going to calf. The first one to calf, I believe, will be that little brindle over there. Where is she? There. The roany, brindly one. She's putting up a good bag and she's fairly sunk. But I checked her this morning, she was all right. I was up at five o'clock. They were all lying down asleep, so. No panic. So look, at, we'll leave it at that for now. It's going to be a short video and uh, we'll keep you updated as the days move on. So we'll see you now and thank you. Bye bye.